Hey everyone, Tanner Bell here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited because in today's video, we're talking about dollar store craft hacks you probably did not know. I love this series. We've tackled this in so many different ways, shapes. You guys seem to enjoy it a lot at home. So we are super excited to head over to the Dollar Tree and see what crafty related items we could find that you guys are going to love in your crafting. And who does not appreciate a dollar item? And it's the more money you can save going to Dollar Tree, it's the more money you can spend on your next craft project. Am I right? So if you guys are excited for this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you're brand new here so that you're able to see all of our amazing craft hacks. So if you all are excited, let's jump into it. All right, guys, first up, we have the original super glue foam mounting tape. And guys, if you all can think about this, imagine for those paper projects where you're needing to get those um, foam dimensions. They even showcase it some down here in the corner, but these are perfect. They're pre-cut. You get that 3D effect for all of your layer um, layering projects with paper and it's um, permanent and photo safe. So that's super fun. Um, you can check the back and make sure if you're worried about acid free, uh, right here, it lets us know 100% acid free. Um, and you can find this at the Dollar Tree, which is really cool. And we absolutely love our foam mounting tape. So definitely try this out. This is our first um, craft store Dollar Tree hack. And we have 10 of these. So get excited. These are one that I absolutely love and you get quite a bit. Number two, I love getting my masking tape here at Dollar Tree. Now, one reason is that our Dollar Tree is right next to our Hobby Lobby. So you can hop over to Hobby Lobby, get ready for your next project, and then head on over here and pick up your masking tape for all of those knife blade projects you have with your Cricut. You have to have some masking tape on hand so that you're able to mask off your projects onto the mat. Um, and the Dollar Tree has you covered for the masking tape. Isn't that awesome? All right, guys, number three, this sounds a little crazy, but the Dollar Tree is an amazing place to buy pieces of poster board. We use these for so many different things. Um, imagine spray painting if you are in an apartment, any city spaces that you don't have a lot of open um, places to put empty boxes. Grab your poster board and use this for spray painting outside, but also grab some extra pieces if you plan on using your finished projects and you need awesome photos on a nice white background to list your items for sale on eBay, Facebook, anything like that. You can get your poster board at the Dollar Tree, which is so wonderful. This is such a great hack. If you've never had to take product photography before, having a white poster board with some natural lighting in a little bit of photo editing, even with your smartphone, you're gonna get awesome pro uh, project photos to list your projects for sale. And the more better photos that you have, uh, the better your item will sell on eBay, Facebook, or wherever you're listing. So we love this hack. All right, guys, number four, we have hairspray. And the reason why we love, love, love using hairspray from the dollar store um, is first of all, it's affordable, but second of all, it seals all of your chalkboard projects. So if you're like me, you create stencils with your Cricut and then want the chalkboard look, but as soon as you accidentally rub up against the project, something happens, the chalk smears. Being able to apply a quick light layer of hairspray is gonna give you some durability on to that chalk. So it's a great little hack. It's something super awesome. And almost everyone can pick up some hairspray at the Dollar Tree for their next um, chalkboard project. All right, guys, craft hack number five for Dollar Tree is probably the first item that I started comparing Dollar Tree with Cricut, and it is LA's Totally Awesome. This is a awesome little cleaner. I've heard people use this for so many different things, but you can find it here at Dollar Tree, and it's a dollar. Um, but what we love using this for is cleaning our Cricut mats be sure to go check out that video to learn exactly how we clean our mats. Because let me tell you, if you just go and get this without following the proper procedure, you can ruin your Cricut mats. 
this is a great time in the video to let you guys know Cricut does not recommend you cleaning Cricut mats, um, but this is just an alternative that we've found and many, many others do the same process, especially for the fabric grip mats um, and using burlap or things like that. But LA's Totally Awesome is a great thing to pick up. So I highly recommend picking this up and then watching our how to clean mat video. Just search it, you'll find it. It's a great resource. Um, and I really love our video on it because it um, lets us save a lot of money with our mats. Number six is being able to have rubbing alcohol with a spray bottle. Both you're able to pick up at the Dollar Tree. And guys, this is incredible for everyone that wants to be able to clean their projects before applying vinyl onto it. So you can add the alcohol into the spray bottle, a quick squirt and a piece of paper towel. You're gonna have an amazing, quick, easy way to clean all your projects for the best results with vinyl. If you've watched any of our videos um, that we're using things like an ornament, a mug, things like that, you definitely need to clean it from any um, of your hands being on there, anything like that, the fingerprints, having that nice clean surface is gonna allow the vinyl to adhere much, much better. So definitely consider picking up these two things on your next trip to the Dollar Tree. Next up is hand sanitizer. Now, not only is it flu season here and you definitely wanna be disinfecting your hands, but as you can see here, we appreciate everything white here in the studio. So we're always painting on the table. We're getting things all over the place with our paint brushes and having um, hand sanitizer is an amazing way to be able to clean all of those things really quickly, really easily and it works wonders when you're trying to have a hard dried paintbrush or things like that and have some dried paint on your table. And another like bonus half hack is that if you have any paintbrushes that are crusty and you let them sit overnight and you're about to scrap them or throw them away, get some um, hair conditioner at your Dollar Tree and let them sit in there overnight you're gonna be amazed at how awesome that hack is. If you want, want to learn more about it, I may need to make a video all about that, but that's something to look into because I love being able to clean paintbrushes with conditioner, but if they're still wet, you just use them. I love using hand sanitizer um, for the tables and things like that. All right, guys, next up, I believe number eight, we have the cosmetic wedges. Now, they've had these at Dollar Tree forever, the same package, and they have become one of our favorite and most loyal craft tools um, for when it comes to painting and wanting to get really awesome results when stenciling. Um, these are for makeup application or makeup removal, it says, um, but we use these for crafts and they're really awesome. You get 28 in here for a dollar, which I think is definitely a great deal. Um, we use one or two per project usually and it turns out wonderful. So you can get some really great results with this. Be sure to check out our how to make a stencil with your Cricut video because we actually compared a few of these different sponges up against some a lot more expensive ones and these are still probably somewhat of my favorites for all projects. So be sure to get some of these for your next crafting um, project. Next up is some men's shaving cream. So this right here is really awesome. Now Easter is quickly approaching and you can use this to make marbled um, eggs and things like that, which we all are pretty familiar with. But what you may not be familiar with is are some of the projects using shaving cream to create your very own pattern paper. So that is something you want to look into. Pick up some shaving cream to create some really awesome um, effects and colors for your next craft project with the shaving cream. All right, guys, for number 10, we have baby powder and a little makeup brush right here. Guys, go check out one of our latest Cricut Hacks video because I demo demonstrated this perfectly in that video, but we couldn't leave it out of this one because it's such a big deal. You're definitely going to need this in your crafting life. Guys, before I even tell you what it is, go pick up you some baby powder. I have never really worked with baby powder too much, but it smells awesome. Um, the second thing is that it's perfect for glitter vinyl um, and especially glitter iron on weeding. All right, so if you don't have a bright pad, you don't wanna pull your bright pad out, putting this over a project and brushing it into those little 
cracks and crevices or the outline of your project is really what it is, um, it's going to save you so much time trying to be like, oh, is this where I need to weed? It's amazing. I hope our camera picked it up really well when we were filming that earlier, but if it did not, trust me when I say it's a great alternative and really affordable so that you're able to weed glitter iron-on or vinyl with ease. So definitely check this out and it's a lot of fun. All right, guys, we actually have 11. So this is your bonus craft hack. And this is using the chopping mats for your X-Acto knife project. So if you have a knife, um, like a X-Acto knife or the new Cricut knife um, that I'm obsessed with, and you're using it to cut out projects, pick up some of the Dollar Tree chopping mats. I love this for not only using the craft knives, X-Acto knives, but if you are worried about damaging your surfaces when you are weeding your project and you are opposed to weeding the project on your mat because um, you think it could like hurt the lifespan of the mat, these right here, great workaround for quickly taking it off the mat and using this awesome chopping mat um, to protect your work surface while weeding a project. Highly recommend these and we use them all the time as really thin and really quick solutions for when we're needing to use our craft knife. So hope you guys enjoyed all of these awesome Dollar Tree craft hacks. We had so much fun going around Dollar Tree, finding some of these, testing them, eliminating a few, and sharing with you guys some of our favorites. If you all enjoyed this, be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more DIY videos and craft hacks. If you guys have any Dollar Tree craft hacks that we did not mention, leave us a comment down below so that we can try it out and maybe share it with you guys here in another video. As always, be sure to check us out at the links down below. If you're interested in joining our membership for die cutting enthusiasts, be sure to check that out in the first link down below. Hundreds of cut files, hundreds of fonts for all of our amazing members. So be sure to check that out. Hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye.